Hey, Alice, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm excellent. Thank you. Uh, sure. So tell, uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Sure. I, uh, my name is Alice. I am a web designer. I have been running a web design company for over seven years um, in Richmond Hill, Ontario. So yeah, that's what I do. Awesome. And, uh, and when you signed up with me, you know, t tell us what your life was and, and business, what it was like before. Right, right. So I believe I signed up with Dan about a year and a half ago. Uh, at the time, I was working about 12 to 14 hours a day. Uh, I am your a typical entrepreneur who does everything on their own um, even though I have staff I just feel like uh, uh, I, 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 I can do a better job so I was uh, running around um, working a lot of hours putting in a lot of time uh, weekends and evenings and uh, that's uh, it was quite overwhelming and quite chaotic and the worst thing is that I don't really necessarily think that it made a difference on my business um, it really didn't move forward uh, it's not like I grow significantly and it's not like I really, really did anything that add value, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, and if I recall, you're doing lots of, you were doing some things in your business that weren't even generating that no. much revenue, but no. they were costing you a lot of time and yeah. really frustrating. <laughs> Very frustrating. Yeah, I was going to a lot of different groups, a lot of different networking groups and whatnot, taking up a lot of my evenings away from my family. And it really just not generating any leads, just generating any results. Um, some of the other big business activities I did, I mean, like I tried a lot of like 30 plus marketing strategies. At the end of the day, only three things worked, but I still spend a lot of time on the other 27 things. So that's, uh, that was a year and a half ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, and I also remember you were uh, you were putting time in doing things, all sorts of different things, and uh, and and then we started tracking the time you were getting back. Mm -hmm. And I remember at the beginning it was like the first week there was probably five to ten hours back. Next week more hours, more hours, more. <laughs> and it yeah, was I didn't even think it was possible. I'm just like, where? What do you mean? I'm not getting my time back. But uh, but we did that for like a couple of months, and it was just very eye opening because I would count on Friday afternoon I'd be like how many hours did I save this week I'd be like wait I saved five hours how is that possible I didn't even like think I can um yeah yeah that's uh well, it's, it's incredible once you start seeing it right and you realize where your time is de being devoted yeah. and uh, and where it's being wasted and yeah. um and, and then you you have this revelation where you're like wow, you know, like I can have more time for myself and I can have more downtime yeah. or free time or free will. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, and, and it's possible. But uh, yeah, it was, it was just wonderful watching that because, you know, you were like, ten, how can I get 10 hours back in a week? And, yeah. you know, and, and, and the key here is that, and I, I know you realize it, but it was about getting you time and space because if you are going to work on your business, you need to, you can't be just crazy busy. You yeah. have to be focused and only working on the critical things. And, and exactly. so it, it, it exactly. got you that time and space, which most people miss that. They're like, well, why don't we just get started? It's like, well, no, we, you need some time and space so, yeah. <laughs> so that yeah, you, yeah. you can work on yeah. your business. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. It's, it's going to be chaotic and you're going to be actually working more hours and uh, on the way to burnout. So Exactly, exactly. And I felt like I was right at that edge of like, if I just keep on pushing this far a bit more, I could, but I'm going to be burned out. Um, yeah. So, so, so I'm glad that then, you know, made it, um, made it possible so that I, I can cut out my time without really sacrificing anything really. Yeah. Yeah. You avoided the recipe for disaster. So that was, I know, that was good. I know I, I did. Yeah. Perfect timing. Um, okay. And, and what are you looking forward to in the future? Now that you have um, uh, you you have a self managing business and you know to a certain extent and you have your yeah. team and you're moving yeah. forward. Yeah. Yeah, so this has been a very, very good question on my head. Um, so one thing I would say is that once you get your time back, you realize, wow, like, you know, I actually don't know what to do with my life. Because <laughs> for like the past 14 years being like a professional um, designer, um, I've always been working long hours. So all of a sudden, by two o'clock in the afternoon, you finish your day, you're just like, well, what am I going to do with, with the rest of my, my days? So some of the things that I am looking at 
that is that now that my business is not taking up of my time, um, the work is actually done by my staff and managing them has been easy. Um, I'm thinking of expanding the business. So that's actually one thing um, I thought it would be good to do because before I was the bottleneck, but now that I'm no longer the bottleneck, I can take on as many business as I want and just hire more staff to do it. So I don't think it would really make a difference um, on my time. The other thing is that um, it freed my time because I recently had, uh, had a baby. So uh, my son is uh, three months old now. So this will allow me to spend more time with him in the afternoon and um, yeah, and, and I think that would be that would be like great because they grow so fast. So that's the second thing. Um, third thing is that now that I have all this time, I want to use it to like learn and read and advance my skills. Because I felt like when you're just in the business doing the work, you actually don't have time to like think and pause. And it's very important to keep up to date. So the learning piece is huge. Now that I have the time, I can do uh, do that. So that's the three things I'm going to do in the next uh next year or two yeah mm -hmm. well and and you know now you have a foundation and that's the key thing and it was an intentional imbalance at the beginning to set that up that's the yeah. preparation but it's it was necessary and and yeah. now you have the freedom to do the creative work in your business which is what you really enjoy and yeah. um and you know and and in case you know you, you you didn't realize it, but I think you did uh, or do is that, you know, you're becoming an entrepreneur because not, yeah. a true entreneur is somebody who delegates work. They don't do all of the work or do 50% exactly. of the work. That's just that, you know, that's not entrepreneurship. Uh, that's exactly. like, that's having a business and working in it. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> not fun. So, uh, no, no. Okay. And final question. Uh, who do you think should work with me? Um, I think, uh, well, I maybe maybe I'm just coming from uh, coming out of the space, right? I'm this entrepreneur who has, a, I want to say, a fairly successful business, um, but been bottlenecked and has been stuck for like two three years and trying multiple things. So I feel like majority of the entrepreneur go through this. So entrepreneurs who have already gone through the initial uh, hurdle of like setting up the business now is like okay. Doesn't matter how what I do, nothing seems to move the needle. So how do I do that? Like I gave my solid 12 hour days for years. Um, now, like, I feel like I don't want to do this anymore. Um, so I feel like people who are in that space will be great to work with them because like it is a breakthrough. Um, breakthrough and, uh, and and I feel like majority of business owners and I know many who have been doing running their business for 30 40 years and still stuck here and yet like yes as much as I don't want to be stuck here for like two three years I still feel like looking back um, I still took a shortcut so <laughs> so uh, so yeah so I feel like uh, uh, business owners who are looking for that who are like you okay, can you know what I'm it's time that I'm going to take some time off for myself. I'm, I'm sick of being stuck where I am. Um, I want to break through. I think they are the perfect candidates to work with, uh, work with them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's what I do as well. I look over other people's shoulders who have studied, who have done the work, who have figured out the exactly. systems and, and the, the shortcuts, like you said. Um, so yeah. uh, absolutely. And, and I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think in life, there are like the two routes, right? One is that, you know, you spend the time, the energy, <laughs> try to figure everything out on your own. And, and quite frankly, that can take years if, if, if you're lucky. And sometimes even like a whole lifetime, you don't, because if you don't read the right book, or if you don't meet the right mentor, you might be just stuck. You just didn't think there's another way. Um, that's one way. And the other way is that, you know, you, you work with somebody who have been through this and just take the, the, the shortcut. And in my opinion, like why I compare like time versus like, uh, like, like working with somebody, I'd rather just take the shortcut. Like, why would I want to spend 20, 30 years being frustrated um, and might not even get to where I want to go, like versus just invest half a year, a year into, in, into, into a mentor or mentorship and, uh, and just, uh, just take the easy path. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, yeah, and I feel like that sort of is the success. I have talking to many people to, to, to shortcut their, uh, their path. Yeah. Well, absolutely. And the thing is, we don't get time back, right? So, you yeah. know, we can, you know, yeah. money, we can invest and we can get it back. But time, yeah. 
time passes mm-hmm. by. We're dealers in time, so um, yeah, yeah I, I totally agree with that. Uh, why, why, why not invest in somebody or yeah. a system or a process that can help you move faster uh, exactly. instead of struggling on your own? For sure. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Thank you, Alice. <laughs>